Coming up next on Access Framingham TV, our own state senator, Karen Spilka. She is with you not one, but two trips, Greece and Hawaii, on Travels with Jack. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Travels with Jack. I'm your host, Jack Barron. Thanks for joining us. Have you taken a trip, a vacation, a cruise, maybe a day trip right here in New England? I'd like to invite you to be a guest on our show. You can tell our viewers about how you got to your destination, where you stayed, the shopping, the good food you enjoyed, the people that you met, and the sights and sounds of your trip. Anything you'd like to share with your friends and our viewing audience, just contact us here at Access Framingham Television and let us know you'd like to be a guest. You can phone AFTV at 508-875-5434, or you can send an email message to info at accessfram.tv. Our associate producer will contact you to make arrangements for you to be on the program here on Access Framingham TV. Today, our own state senator, Karen Spilka, joins us on Travels with Jack. Karen shares two trips with us to Greece and to Hawaii. She's brought some great photos to share with us. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Karen and her husband, Joel, live in Ashland. Uh, she originally came from Yonkers, New York, yes. and went to Cornell University in Ithaca, where my daughter also went to school. I'm sorry. Great school. <laughs> I loved the ice cream they had at their own, <laughs> their own place, dairy. They, their own dairy, yes. and also went to Northeastern Law School. Yes. Um, her district as state senator is the second Middlesex in Norfolk district representing the towns of Ashland, Framingham, Hopkinton, Holl I start to sound like a train. Holliston, Medway and the majority of Natick and Franklin. Yes. And she is a member of the Democrat Party and is the assistant majority whip. Yes. Which is kind of a uh, high of high official uh, party designation. And a uh, couple of questions. Well, these trips today, uh, she went to Greece uh, to visit her son Scott, who is do at the time was doing a semester abroad in Greece. Yes. He's currently a teacher in New York City. And uh, they were in Marathon, Greece. Karen's going to tell us a little story with that, which is the uh, sister city to Hopkinton. And I'll let her explain the connection. And her son, Jake, is a Worcester Polytech grad and is currently with a Boston construction company. And um, I just, because you're a political person, I just want to give you an opportunity to share with me and perhaps some of our viewers. Um, what are some of your main passions and interests as a Massachusetts state senator? I'll start with that. Okay, well, uh, my focus the last four or five years in particular has been on economic development. Uh, I was chair of the, before being assistant majority whip, I was chair of the Joint Committee on Economic Development and Emerging Technologies. And as chair, I authored a bill to overhaul the state's economic development bureaucracy. I streamlined the agencies, consolidated some of them, uh, heard from many, many businesses, many residents of some of the problems, and many themes came up. 
that that we needed to cut through the bureaucracy, which I did. We we simplified the processes. We cut down the number of agencies. We increased access to capital by creating the Mass Growth Capital Corp. That is loaning to small businesses in particular. Who want to and expand in Massachusetts? Exactly. Okay. Come to Massachusetts. Expand in Massachusetts. We heard from many businesses about antiquated regulations. Uh, so I did two things in that bill. I uh, required an ongoing review every f four years. The administration must review now existing regulations as to its Im their impact on business, particularly small business. That's already started. The administration has looked at the first 200 regulations. Out of that, 47 were gone. You know, so out of 247 were gone, and 151 are being changed or tweaked. So it would be fair to say that you are a reformer. Yes, that, I that would, would consider be. myself. I, 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 we increased accountability and transparency, and uh, just m m looked at and created regional economic development organizations so that businesses would have a one-stop shopping to go to to know in their region that instead of having to go from biz from agency to agency looking for help, they could go knock on this one door, and that agency will help them cut through the bureaucracy and red and tape. And would it be fair to say you? Are, would want to be considered yourself a business friendly oh, politician? D definitely, definitely. Okay. Um, and, and in working with businesses, I also was recently chair of the Jobs Creation Commission, and we again did a he listening tour around the state. Uh, in July, we issued a 70 page report on the state of the economy right now and made recommendations as to how to create jobs. Some of those recommendations will be transferred translated and I will be filing legislation this coming session to help uh, Massachusetts grow our economy and remain a leader. So my feeling is if we grow our economy and grow our revenues and by growing our economy, we as a state will have more money to do the programs for our seniors, for our education. Do you sound like a Republican when you say <laughs> I want to grow the economy and grow revenue? Well, you know, I, I, I focus on <laughs> what is important to me. That's not your party's usual conversation. Well, it, it is. It's important. <laughs> Important. It's my my conversation, and I talk about return on investment, and and we as a state need to look at that. And but by growing our economy, that is the best way to to grow our coffers and to afford the education programs. I'm in your the choir, seniors. but <laughs> well, great, great. Uh, th these are things that I Have really believe. Have you thought of meeting in. with President Obama to uh, educate him on growing the economy with I, I lower taxes? I, I, I think he agrees it's important to grow our economy, and I. I think that um, we, as a, as a state, in, in, in um, working in conjunction with the administration, have really consistently been among the top five or top ten states in the nation in terms of job creation. And uh, we are continually looking at ways. We have the, the top innovation economy, and our education I, is I rated number one. I will agree. We have a, one. A, a good public education system. We're number one in the, in the country, which is helpful. And uh, innovative. Right. And we have a lot of innovation. And yes. that's what allowed you to travel to Greece and Hawaii. So we'll see some pictures shortly. Right. There are some connections. <laughs> and, yes. and I want you to just tell the viewers about the connection with Marathon Greece, the mayor, and Hopkinton, and you okay. and Joel going there. Right, which was great. My, my son, um, in 2005, I became state senator, and that's when I, because I had represented Framingham when I was still state representative, um, but in, in 05, I became senator and, and added to Ashland and Framingham, Hopkinton and Natick and, and ha some of those other towns that you mentioned. Hopkinton, as we know, is the current start of the marathon since 1917. It's been the start of the B Boston Marathon. Um, Hopkinton has become a sister city to Marathon Greece because Marathon Greece is the start of the current marathon, but it was also the origination of the marathon in four, I think it's 490 or 460 BC. I wasn't when, around. Yeah, it was a little <laughs> bit before me too, but so I've been told um, when uh, the, the whole battle of marathon um, took place and uh, they overcame great odds and Philippides ran from 
from Marathon Greece to, to Athens, Greece, to announce that that you know they they had conquered and that they needed help and and their help came in time and that was the birthplace of our democracy and the whole notion of democracy. So it's something to to celebrate. But that from Marathon Greece to Athens is approximately 26 oh, really? miles, and that's where the 26 miles comes well, from originally. I'll see if Bill has a picture of for us of Marathon. Ah, there we is this Marathon. That, that's actually the Acropolis. That's oh, okay. The, at the in Athens, um, at the Acropolis. And at that's one your of the, Beacon Hill attire. Do they yeah, have yeah. Casual <laughs> Friday. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what day that was, but <laughs> it was beautiful. It was a beautiful day, and they were restoring parts of the Acropolis while we were there. And that's there with my husband Joel, also a, a part of the the Acropolis. I think that was the the Temple of Athena. Um, there, the statues that some of them are missing, but uh, it, it's just an amazing notion of history that walking around there. It is uh, for those who haven't been. Well, go ahead, Viv. Right, and you can see that's the actual Acropolis behind me, and you can see they were restoring it um, and putting a lot of work into restoring it. So, uh, as since then, the, all those scaffolds are gone, but. It it is it's kind of the top of a mountain anyway. Overlooking yes, and I Athens. think there's other pictures that might show show that to give a feeling yep. that you can be standing there and you're you're overlooking. You see the the ancient parts of the city just below it, and you can see the old uh, walkways and the the where the bases of houses and the foundations were, and the whole radius right around it. And you can see certain other points where some of the ancient buildings were. Um, and then as the city grew. And, and, and it grew further and further. Um, but this was soon after the uh, Olympics were in Athens as well. So Reminds me a little of the big dig, you know, the whole. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is amazing. I mean, the engineering that took place, this is where I'm lower and looking up towards where the mountain, where the Acropolis is. And, and you could see the different yep. levels of, of uh, buildings that took place there. They were they were very advanced in in their construction, and the fact that this has been there for thousands and thousands of years is just mind blowing. When we well, think they don't have our weather. <laughs> no, no, but there are storms, and, and when you think about how we in the United States, because we're relatively a new country, we think two three hundred year old building is is really old. These are thousands and thousands, so. And that's a good feeling. We're further back. That is where the Acropolis, you know, is uh, the mountain, sort of that you were that's talking a, that's about. That's a very dramatic photo, actually. Oh, this is. And this is uh, my husband Joel with my son Scott, and we are in front of the ancient. Um, uh, uh, ma a marathon and, and Olympic oh. Stadium, um, which was right near his school where he was he was going at the time. And how did so. he like it there? Did oh, he, he loved he it. He did. He loved it. It, it was a wonderful experience, um, and he got to travel every weekend. Uh, the school was structured, so there were no classes oh, really? on Friday. Oh. So they were able to leave Thursday night, and in September, October, in, and he went to all the different islands, and then he went wow. to. Paris and, and Amsterdam and London and Prague and See, when Tur I went to Turkey. college, we didn't do those yeah, uh, yeah, semester it's, it's abroad. Great. It's wonderful. We have become such a global society that so many of our kids are traveling like this and getting that experience. I, I must tell you, I have um, friends, customers. I had just have one, a vendor. She was in London for the week. I said, you know, how was the trip? Why were you there? My son is abroad for the semester. It's a great time to go right, visit right. and see London and visit the kids. So, um, right. This My is other son key. went to China for a semester abroad, so he and was did there. Did you visit there as no, well? No, we did not, unfortunately. But he was in uh, uh, Wuhan and and um, set, uh, some some other Beijing a little bit. So oh. that, but he w was able to travel. China is wonderful. Uh, yeah. If you get a chance. Uh, it's next time you go to Hawaii, maybe go a little further. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if we've got a few more photos, I'm hoping, of Greece. There we go. Right, that's another good picture of the Acropolis from down below. It looks almost like they chiseled it out of the mountain, doesn't it? It, it is amazing. And then how they built the, uh, like yep. a fortress, but a temp it was a basically a temple. Yep. 
And this, and this, is? this is in Marathon, Greece. And, and what's the, there's a couple of things about this. I am with um, what was to become the mayor of Marathon, Greece there, uh, Spiros Zagaris. He uh, invited us to come up to Marathon. He, he, we went up there. Um, he gave us a whole tour of Marathon. He was very, very active. He was in the process of running a campaign. The election was literally a week away at this point in time. Um, he took the time to, to show us around. You could see his passion, feel his passion about his city, the, the Marathon. The statue behind him is the exact same statue of what is at Weston Nurseries on yes, Route 135. I've seen that. Yep. Yes, and um, Mika Kaufman did that statue, and that was uh, put there for the Athens Olympics. That was oh. a gift um, to to the uh, to the city of of Marathon and to Greece for the Olympics, um, and it's uh, Kyriakides running the 1946. Uh, marathon in the Boston Marathon. Uh, he is, is running it. It was just after World War II. Greece was devastated by oh, World War II. Yes. And he was told, do not run. This will probably kill you. But he had been in marathoning for a long time. He wanted to go to represent his, his country. He not only ran the, the Boston Marathon in 1946, he won it. And he, and he won it, and he used. He became friendly with Johnny this was Kelly. Before the Kenyans. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well before the Kenyans. So he won, and he used it as a platform to raise money to bring back to help Greece heal. Yeah, Greece and did uh, after the war was somewhat devastated. Yes. Yes. And so uh, Kyriakides is a legend, and his son Dimitri uh, comes over to the United States frequently and is an ambassador for marathoning and for his father oh, really? too. Isn't so, that wonderful? so and all of that. But this is the tomb of the soldiers after the the uh, the battle at Marathon Greece in 490 B.C. These were where the soldiers from Marathon, those that were killed, were buried uh, forever to, to as a remembrance and a memorial for those those that stood up for democracy and fought back um, the dictatorship so and do you do you know who that war was with was it with Corinthians or you know I, I okay that's I, all right I, I do know I'm trying you know, it'll right. come to me as we're talking not a, um, not a problem the, but um, isn't that interesting uh, they've kept it as a quote yes. unquote holy site. Yes, and, and all you could walk years, there. 16, and 1,700 yes. years. Yes, and you wow. could, there, there is a, a heavy door that Spiros took us through that you can, I mean, he's sort of the keeper of, of all of these things there to keep it alive. And you can walk through and you can see some of the um, memorials. You know, there's a, there's a part that you can walk in. And there are olive trees that grow at that site. And it's the branches from those olive trees that are made into the wreaths that are sent over for the winners of the Boston Marathon. Wow. The, yes. Uh, so there's so, a true meaning. Yes, yes, yes. Huh. Live, so, and, yeah. live and learn. Look I know. It, it's, it's very exciting. It, it is. It, I'm it, impressed with that. Oh, so those wreaths come from there. They come from Marathon, Greece, yes. Okay. He, ship, they sh he ships them over. And this looks like... This, this was the flame where the start of oh, the Olympics uh, was when it was in Athens. But this is in Marathon. This is where the stadium was in Marathon, Greece. And this was where the, the torch was first. The, the flame went to light the, the Olympic flame there. This and that's, is Spiros? Yes, that's me with Spiros standing in, at the top there overlooking the track and, and area. Now that looks like a modern building behind. Okay. It is, and this is, is his office um, in, in Marathon, Greece. We went to visit. And one thing that was interesting, they, they stay up very, very late. They, we were there. We had dinner there with them, and this is his wife, Dina. And at 11, he said, could we stay till 11 o'clock? Sure. I mean, it, you know. All these people came in. He actually had a campaign meeting in part of that building at 11 p.m. 
and people just poured in and he was going around evidently talking to them in Greek so that Greek mm -hmm. that you know who I was so I was going around shaking hands they were very warm very welcoming it was a wonderful experience mm -hmm. and I was thrilled that he won and you that could, election. Did you tell him you were ready to run with him in the yeah. uh, say listen I know how to run a campaign I you know he did pretty well <laughs> you know and this this is oh this is uh, um, on Santorini actually oh, okay. we went traveling this is called Red Beach um, it, it's really beautiful you have to walk through those cliffs to get to it now Santorini is one of the many islands yes. in Greece yes it, it's one of the, the one of the more southern not not fully south but it's uh, it's a beautiful island I had been there actually many many years ago before there were were any roads to go up um, uh, there was all steps from where the boat lets you off. I'm not certain if any if those pictures will show up, but oh, yeah, this <laughs> that's the Democrat. Yeah, over I, there. I, you know, <laughs> it was funny. We were taking a hike and we were just walking, and um, I, the this donkey was there, and I called out, and he clearly called back, you know, <laughs> and I just happened to snap the picture. So, so this actually, you can see some of the winding road that comes up. This is the the island of Santorini. This is where uh, there's a, a, a fable where there it's true or not nobody really knows but uh, some there's some folklore that this is partly where the the island of Atlantis oh. the lost island of Atlantis was and that the the uh, island of Santorini is sort of in a horseshoe and in the very center there is still a very small island um, and it's very volcanic all around it and yes. so they, they theorize that at one point in the very center where the water is to the left there was a volcano and that's what sunk leaving the island of Santorini. That's Joel, Joel. and you can, yes, yep. you can see some of the buildings behind it. it it's beautiful. Nice photo, you yes, and Joel. And you got a good sort of tan. Stepping. Yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice. It was that's um, on the ocean. There's this a rainbow that you could see in the center, and that's just some of the. I remember when I was sun. last in Greece, we were just drinking wonderful Greek white wine yes. every day. Their yes. wines are wonderful. Yes. The seafood is wonderful. The food. Did you enjoy the food there? Oh yes, very, very yeah. much, very much. And the, and the people were terrific. They were just, as I said, so warm and welcoming that it was a wonderful experience. Yeah, for our great. viewers who haven't been to Greece, it is a wonderful trip. I know. Uh, Today they're having, well, go ahead, I'll, I'll. That's in Athens, that's at the palace um, with the soldier guards. Uh, you can stand in front of them, you can make faces, they do not flinch. So people typically walk up to them and have their picture taken like I just like, did here. Like the beef eater guards you know, in London. Yes, yep. yes, and they will do their walking. Oh, look at that. This is a terrific statue in Athens called Running Man. Okay. It's made out of thin sh layers of glass oh. to make it look like somebody is running it in does. motion. And is so, it that big? Is yes, it, it's, it's, it's enormous. It's like five stories tall. Yes, it's huge. Wow. That's, you could get a feeling with Joel sitting in I front of it. I see it. I see the building um, behind it. Yes, us. yes, and that's me in front of it. it. It is enormous. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite statues. Wow. That is so. an impressive statue. Yes. Um, but back to Greece, you uh, left out of Boston directly, or how did you get there? We, we left out of, out of Boston, flew to, I think, London. Oh, okay. Um, and then t to, to Athens. So about uh, 12 hours, maybe? Yeah, probably about that, yeah. And yeah. Uh, were you happy? Did you stay in Marathon, actually? or We stayed in Athens for yeah. a while. Uh, we found a, a hotel. Um, we, we don't. I, I don't always plan a lot in advance, um, but we found. <laughs> so, so. Uh, Are you saying you mean you get there and you kind of go? Well, sometimes, we need a hotel? sometimes, okay. you know. But we found a great <laughs> hotel, and uh, they were very helpful, and it was in a wonderful area. It was within walking distance to to even you know to get to the Acropolis. It was a little bit of a walk, but it was it was great. And um, you know, other museums were at the other side, so we were it, we were sort of centrally located, and uh, it was a wonderful wonderful city it's a wonderful city there yeah. and pe people are up late and it's it's safe and and it was great well i know today they're having so many problems i know with their my economy. heart aches yes. my heart aches for what they're going yeah. through they're going you know with the austerity they uh 
I won't get into all the details, but uh, clearly I know a lot of people have said they're holding off. But the islands are not having the problems that Athens is having as far as um, these different, um, I, don't, I don't want to call them revolutions, demonstrations. Right, right. So right, um, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know for, for people who are watching and say, I'd like to go to Greece, but I'm worried about, you know, all the demonstrations I'm seeing and the government problems. It could be in Athens where you would right. have those issues, but there's so many lovely islands, um, Mykonos, Santorini. Right, right. Even um, Crete is beautiful. Crete. It, it's, it's, it's amazing. We were in Rhodos for a yeah, while with yeah. lovely roads. Um, so please keep in mind. Now this right. is now we're switching to Hawaii. Right, and, and this is in Honolulu at Pearl Harbor. I had never been to Pearl Harbor. Um, and well, coming from Yonkers, we wouldn't necessarily I, expect I know, you to be there. And I know, <laughs> and um, we went to this trip with, with our sons in, in 07. And, uh, oh, so both boys were with you. Yes, this wonderful. both Scott Good. and Jake. And um, I was actually much more emotional than I had even anticipated. My father uh, went through World War II, survived. He was in the Army. Um, he had been wounded. He had stepped on oh, a really? mine, and oh. the mine exploded. Oh, they boy. had gotten most of the shrapnel out of him, and some of it was still embedded in his face or in, in, in his head. Um, he was in the Army in one of the li liberating Buchenwald. Really? So he was yes, and, oh, so and he had real stories. Yes, um, although he didn't speak about it a whole lot. I yeah, think I it was really of, you know my dad was a prisoner of war in World yes. War II. He never spoke about it. I, I don't know what. Um, I, I think it was just so intense really? and so I emotional. Know. He, he just never really talked about it. So yeah, I'm not surprised that. But you it say left that. an impact on him I'm clearly sure, I'm sure. and uh, an emotional toll. I think that it took. But uh, his mother used to say he came back very very thin. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I decided I was going to eat because <laughs> and make up <laughs> make, make up for it. <laughs> but it, it was uh, for all four of us, for my husband and my sons as well. It was um, much more of an emotional visit there than we the anticipated. There is the main. Um, yes, that Arizona. You can go, exactly, and for yep. folks who haven't been there, uh, you can go out to the building on the left, and and there's a whole exhibit that there, I think there are some pictures from, and it lists all the soldiers that were killed um, and then you can see the Arizona under the water yep. and you can actually see the oil that after all these years is still leaking from the ship and coming up and there's pieces that uh, were, were coming up and, and still from the ship and you can see the outline of the boat and it, it's it, it's very it's a very emotional bond that, that I think that, that is part of the yes. boat that you can actually see. You see the water on the right and the left, and that is part of the boat that's under the water um, that still is a, a memorial to, to all those who, who lost their lives that day. Yep, that is a... Uh, and Honolulu, of course, is a great city. Did it surprise you how big it was as far as high-rises and everything? When I first got there, yeah. yes, yes. I was it, just in Honolulu in... Um, August for a oh, wedding. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, a friend a nice of ours. Nice place for a wedding. Yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. The uh, the bride did a, a hula, not like we did with hula hoops when we were kids, right. but this was With a the grass skirt kind of a, a romantic hula in her bridal gown just for her huh. husband. They sat him down in a chair, and she did a hula. It was very romantic. It was wow. a lovely wedding. Wow, that sounds really nice. Yep. So this again are, are, is, 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 you know, looking out into the water um, and you can see a, a part of a ship that's still there. And these are still all the pieces that are coming up from uh, under really, the water. Really? 60 years later? Yes, yes. Amazing. And that's part of the, the ship too as well. And that's the oil sheen. That, that the that ship something? is still, still after still. all these years, over 60 years, still leaking oil. It still is is coming up, and you know, even to see that, it, it just it really binds you to to that day in history, and um, it's such a, a real uh, tangible thing that that to see it standing there, um, to, it throws you back. So yeah, no, that I remember going to that, and it, I found it a very emotional. 
visit in general. Right, um, right. Did you get to the beach, I hope, in Honolulu? Uh, yes, we did, Good. and we traveled a little bit further outside of Honolulu. We oh, did tell explore. me a little bit. Where, you, where did you go? Um, like? We we had we spent a few days in Honolulu, and then we went to the Big Island oh, okay. um, of, of Hawaii, which I think there might be some pictures. Hopefully, we'll catch of that, them. Of that as what well. What do you think of the Big Island? Um, it was great. We we it wasn't as crowded as Honolulu. Yep. Um, and and so it was. A, Honolulu is like being in a big city. And when you it go, is a big yeah, city. It's, you could be a big city I think almost it's bigger anywhere. Than Boston, don't you I think, think so, so too. Yeah. Um, and and yet it, it is the center of government for the state of Hawaii, which also always perks did you my meet, interest. Did you go well, business? no, but I went into to the the capital just to walk around and take a look because um, I like to do that when I go visiting. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, uh, then we did, my, my son had a friend um, from school that was living near there, so we at least visited with him, um, and we got to explore a little bit there, and then we, we traveled to, to the Big Island. They had, I think she might have been the governor when you were there, was uh, Governor Lingle. Do you know if she was the governor at the time? She might have been. Yeah. She might have been. Very nice lady. I've met her several times. Yeah, she was the governor. Oh, oh good, this is good. Yeah, this is inside that building where it lists um, all the soldiers and military that were killed. Oh, wow, it's a lot of people. That's yeah, that's my two sons. It it unfortunately was a lot of people. The one yes. in the red is that Scott? Uh, that's Jake. Oh, he looks like Joel. Yes, jo <laughs> Jake looks very much like Joel. Scott, look, you know, and Scott went to Union. Jake went to WPI. Oh, Scott, up to Union in upstate New York, yes, so yes. not far from where you went in Cornell. Well, yeah, well, Union is just outside of Albany. Cornell's a little bit yeah, further west. 84. But yeah, yeah, yes. On so Route 84. And this is a beach near outside of Honolulu that we we went to. That was really beautiful. Pretty. No, Hawaii is lovely. Yes, yes. Wow, great pictures. Thank you. Yeah, the water looks beautiful. Yes, we went exploring. Yeah. You can see the uh, the lava too. Yes, yes. Wow. And the mountainous. Oh, is... Yeah, that's a lighthouse up there. There's a rainbow. Now is this? This is on, now. This is on the Big, the big island. island. Yes. Okay. Yes, we were there. And um, the Big Island has a lot of agriculture. Right, and that's what I was going to say. Yep. This was farmland right yep. now, and it was interesting to see the wind turbines with all the discussion here in Massachusetts about Cape Wind and and building more wind turbines. I took a picture um, and actually walked out. This was a, a farmer. This was a farm too, uh, wanting to hear the noise and wanting to hear what 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 noise it made. And that we stayed for a while. Uh, you know, just some of the the concerns. So it was a good education. Case. Yes. So yes, it was. tell me something. Did you find them noisy? These are fairly small windmills. Right, but they weren't that they noisy, weren't. and they were turning. It was it was Did windy. Did he say there was an issue with the birds or anything? No, I and I, I was, we actually stayed for a little while. I was curious to see if any well, birds yeah, would, came by to business, right, I would right. Think. You know, um, yeah. You see, this is where you see the nice this could blend. Be where, Western Massachusetts, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more lava and the ground <laughs> soil here than Western Mass, but you're right with the farms and the wind yep. turbines. And then this this is another area of the island. This was, I think, the northern part. Oh, this I had to put in. Uh, my kids, of course, got a kick out of this name, the name of this road, Beers, Beers Road. road yeah. <laughs> And, wow. and this this is also the farmland That's a great picture, and the that, way the wind was blowing yes. the grass was long and it was just uh, the, it was beautiful the way I it think flowed they actually have a lot of uh, a f maybe I'm wrong but I think a fairly sizable cattle industry yes I, I think they they must and um, it, I wish I had had a video at that point in time because the way the grass was blowing in the wind it, it was almost like an ocean with yeah. the changes of the green the the subtle changes of the color That's of the what's grass wonderful, was really you know, about pretty. traveling is when you go to all these different places you you really do see things that you're not going to see locally I mean right. I'm not saying for a moment well I'll let right. you, this, this is, could be out in Amherst or something. Right, and this again is is the rainbow, yep. and my son um, It take, looks like it's hitting, hitting Exactly, him. he has his mouth open yep. trying to catch the rainbow in, into his mouth. 
Um, and this again is, is it was just a little, uh, this was sort of northern uh, part of the big island where we were just, it was the sec, I think that we had gotten there late, so we woke up and we, we just explored a little bit trying to, to find what was on. And, and the, the island is very different and the northern part is, is, has a lot of agriculture. Oh, oh, this was this actually, it just so happened that uh, one of my friends um, from elementary school, who I'm still friendly You're with, kidding, yeah. was on the Big Island with her family, and her son ha was going to Union College as well. In so New York, In son? New York, so they knew, and, and so, yes, we, they've grown up, the families have grown up together, so we got together for dinner. Isn't that great? Night. You're still friendly with her yes. from elementary school? Yes, yes. So where does she live now? In Harrison, New York. Yep, which is in Westchester. In Westchester, yes. And is yes. she in politics no, too? No, no, she's a doctor. Okay. And her husband's a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, but we're still friends. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I, I have, I like my friends from, I have friends from elementary school. And yeah, it's, it's fun, great. we always, you know, talk about. Yes, yes. So this, this this is the northern part, um, and this this was a black beach, and there's a pathway that I think I have some pictures to to get to, um, and it was it was beautiful. It's just beautiful. And the from, sand is black. Yes, the sand is black. The undertow at this beach was incredibly strong, though. Oh, really? Um, I didn't even go in, and people Why, they were, warned you. Yes, people said my my son and my my husband my sons and my husband did go in, um, and I'm a strong swimmer though. Too. Too, but I just thought it, the undertow was so strong that yeah, that you got to be careful. Yeah, this oh, is I the pathway it. walking to it. Um, it was really pretty. And this actually was, the beach looks lovely. It is. It is lovely. Up oh, now is that your three out there? Yes. Oh yes. okay. Oh they good went eyes, way out. Good eyes. They did go way out. So I, I took pictures. <laughs> I stayed on the That's beach. That's all right. Somebody's got to yell for help. Right. <laughs> <laughs> help That's sort of help. the way I felt. Oh, look at that. And then, yes, this was a, a piece of uh, driftwood that was stuck in the in the sand, and I thought it was a pretty. It is. Pretty shot. Now it looks almost like a storm over there. Yeah, there were parts where the waves were pretty strong, and and uh, the the water was was the currents were were strong. Up oh, there's the yeah. family. Yeah. Well, at least everyone's tan. This, I think, they had just come back from. Uh, now it looks uh, like. Am I seeing a little kid over there? Oh, if no. so, it's from somebody else. Oh, okay. Not, not from All us. Right. We didn't okay. adopt anybody there. All right, you didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't pick up anybody. Well, it could have been from your uh, <laughs> right. school uh, <laughs> school friend, her right. grandchild, or something. Right, right, right. No, and th this is is uh, the, the the as a, the wa the tide has come in. Look at the um, mountains. Look yeah. how high the uh, yeah. the cliffs and everything. And this is the north coast of the Big Island. Now, was the weather still warm in that area? Yes, I know. We went, I think it was in Maui, we went to the top of a volcano. State park at yes, the top of a volcano and it was pretty cold. Yeah. Yeah, there is a, a mountain on the Big Island that most of the year has snow. Has on top snow. has snow, okay. yes. Yes. So if they, make, the rest if they make jokes to you, did you go skiing in Hawaii? Right, you could, could say, yeah, as yeah. a matter of fact, I did. <laughs> right, right. I don't go here in Massachusetts, <laughs> but I'll go to Hawaii. But, um, oh, really? It gets that cold. Yes, yes, yes. That's and probably yes, it. And that's it. Exactly there it is. It. Oh, boy. Yes, see, you can see. And this what is. What a lead in. No, I everybody, know. I <laughs> didn't know this was coming. <laughs> um, this is December in Hawaii, which is their summer. Pretty much, and, and it, it was warm. They still had snow up there. They still there. had snow up there. Yes. And this is at the volcano. There is an active volcano on and this that's island. And we see the rim of it well, behind you, you us. See, yes, yes some, some of it. And, and um, we did take a helicopter ride, oh. which we'll have some pictures of. And actually, um, the, the volcano is now more active than it's ever been and the lava is not only flowing from the site it's flowing several miles oh. down into the ocean so you couldn't be standing there now probably not probably now not. now you mentioned you're going uh, as we see these go ahead i'll let you explain Th this is is around the volcanic area not the active part but the part that you can walk to but this is all 
uh, lava that has dried and um, you know has flowed from the volcano previously. Yep. And you, you know, walking around on it, you can see, um, you know, sometimes some of the growth underneath that was was destroyed and killed by it. I know people always say a lot of our pictures of being on the moon were yeah. really on the Big Island of Hawaii, because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what it looks right, like. Right, it does look like it. It does. Oh, there's that volcano. And this is this is part one of the craters that that sunk from at one one point with the volcano, but. Wow. And you can see the smoke and the sulfur that comes out. It does have a very strong What's sulfur. What's Joel got on? A Celtic shirt, it looks no, like? No, probably some sort of bicycling oh, shirt. Oh, all right. He does a lot of bicycle. Uh, probably a PMC mm. shirt, Pan Mass Challenge. Oh, I think it is. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, he's done that for 18 Good. years. So he always, you know, that's one of the largest grossing independent charitable events yes, in the U.S. Yes, they do, they do a great job. Yep. Yeah. And this is just another crater that has sunk because of the effects of, of the volcano. Um, at some point that they let you walk around and explore. There's some areas that were cordoned off, and this is the lava that just happened the way yep. that it dried. So it's Now, is this part of a state park, this particular area? Yes, it it, is. it's okay. a park. It may even be a national park. Um, I okay. can't remember. But uh, but it was set aside. It's not yes. uh, land for uh, development, or, development anything. or anything. No, no. No. Wow. Now, you mentioned to me before the show you're going back to Hawaii. Yes. This was yes. 2007 or 8. Yes. Two th yes. And, and you're going back now. This will be five years later. Yes. W tell me a little bit about the trip you're taking now. Uh, we're going with my sister-in-law and her husband. They have a timeshare. Um, okay. we'll be, so we're going to be staying there. <laughs> have you stayed with them before? No. Okay. No. So it will be an adventure. <laughs> no advice from Jack. You know, uh, <laughs> that's advice unto itself. <laughs> no. Um, uh, for the first time, I, I'm hoping to try golfing. I oh, am, I am, I'm not a golfer, um, but I am I'm planning on trying golfing. Uh, I do want to see the volcano. We want to do another helicopter ride um, because, as I mentioned, it is erupting more than it has d been yeah, that in should years. Be uh, maybe you'll come back and share that. With I, us. I would love to yeah. because th keep that in mind. Tell okay. your husband, Joel. I got to take pictures for Jack and the audience of the okay. volcano. I promised him. And as and I we'll said, it's the, it's the first time that the lava is actually flowing off the cliffs into the water. So yep. it's actually extending the island and changing the shape of the island as it okay. dries and hardens. There's an idea for Massachusetts. Bring that up in the <laughs> state house. We'll bring we in a volcano. We could create another we'll, island or we'll, another yeah, peninsula. We could have, you know. Uh, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, and uh, Spilker Island. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be your idea. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, so this is this is again um, the three boys. Yes. Okay. Ah, and you we went, went fishing. We did go deep sea fishing. Uh, no trip is complete in my family unless we do some deep sea fishing. And, and as you I see, see he we brought the something. Yes, and we brought the Celtics. Um, I see with the us, Celtics. Yep. Yes. And oh, this, this is, is the helicopter okay. ride. Uh, this is the helicopter that so we went So tell up. me about this. Was it a little scary? Um, I loved it. Oh, I, you did? I, I, okay. Yeah, my, my, Joel is not terribly fond of heights, but he did this to his credit, and he said it was well worth it. Oh, really? Okay. Um, this is up in the air. You can see the, the coastline here. You can, we are over, beginning to be over uh, the hot spots. You can see little white spots towards yes. the bottom, which is steam. Oh, that is steam. Okay. Yes. Wow. And this is all steam. You know, so when you look out at the horizon, you see the hardened lava um, with steam because the lava is flowing underneath it. And there are times when you can see red spots where the lava is right on top. Wow. Like that. Oh, I see it. And you can see in, towards like three quarters of the way back, you see some r shades of red. Yes. And it looks like little rivers. Oh, wow. Yes. This is all hot lava uh, in, in under, at the site of the volcano itself. See, I've never seen this like this, li the, the live. Yeah. And you see that whole it's area. It's really quite pretty. It is. It's beautiful. And sometimes yeah. the patterns that are created are beautiful. And it looks like little lakes and rivers, but it's hot lava. Yeah, I wouldn't want to uh, touch it. No, no, I wouldn't either. <laughs> and th that is the the center of the volcano, where where the the 
it is erupting. We couldn't go into it because uh, I guess it would destroy some of the, the mechanisms on sure. the helicopter. Yep. Um, and cause well, it. Well, because I think it spits a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and just the heat, the heat that set oh, off they as said well. That too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you have to keep somewhat of a distance, and this is about as close as, as you can get. But the lava is flowing all on the, uh, you know, on the sides. Out. You see the crater, so it's un on the sides of the crater. It's, it's fairly extensive. But you really see it, or the <coughs> rim of the crater here. Yes. Oh, these are fabulous. You could do a National Geographic uh, <laughs> exhibit. Wow. And you're going to return to this same crater. Yes, yes, so it'll be interesting to see, especially after seeing them here tonight, uh, the changes in, in the volcano and the area. You could see the path of the lava and how it, it uh, just went over trees and grass. And it was interesting when we were there, there was two s lava flows that, that went in either direction, and there was grass and a house standing in the very center of the two flows. I'm not so certain that house and, and restaurant is still there now yeah, because it's say. been so, mu so much <laughs> I, so I don't know active. How many, how many guests are going to be anxious to go I know, I know. That. It's not a place that I would want to <laughs> stay overnight. <laughs> well, you'll hold a meeting there if you wanted to have a, a political event that you didn't think was going to be too encouraging, you know, say, <laughs> I'm holding it at the house in between the flowing lava. Right, if anybody right. who wants to come, they're welcome to visit with me. But the, the road, you used to be able to go all the way around the island, and, and there was a road that went on the you know outskirts near the, the edge of the island. The southern coast of the big island, the lava, even when we were there, had flowed Over to cover road. some of the road. Um, so you, there was a point where you had to stop. I, I think that area now is much wider where the lava has covered the road and as I said now spewing out into the ocean yeah. so oh I'm very it'd be interesting to see when you go back now on this new trip are you gonna be in Honolulu as well or? no no um, Maui oh which wonderful. I've never been yes. to oh I've Maui's lovely very nice um, that's where I went to the the um, park the that was way up high right we will see there's some wonderful pineapple fields there in Maui mm -hmm. um, the restaurants are very nice I'll after the show I'll mention a okay, few restaurants okay. to you and um, oh you'll like Maui it's quite right. different than Honolulu it doesn't right. have the um, you know the big city city feel to which it, which I like better actually. Yeah, uh, we already have reservations. There is a, a mountain. I don't know if it's an old volcano in the center of, of Maui that you can go and see the sunrise. They they pick you up at the hotel like at could two o'clock in the. Could be that could have been I think so. It sounds like it. He, hukula, I, you know. Yes, something something yes. like that. Don't quote right. me, please. Right. No, right. no mean letters, Jack. You know. Right, know something you're like about. that. That that we are we we get picked up at two o'clock in the morning. Oh really? They drive. Okay us to the top of the mountain yep. and then as the sun is ri rising we're bicycling down the mountain oh, side. So you're getting, oh, you're so going to be doing biking yes, with Joel. Yes, He's got, he made yes, you promise to go like biking. 4 a.m., 5 a.m. when it still is probably cold. I'll be sleeping. No? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be thinking of you. I'll, and, and this, the, Please, so. just think of me around 7. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do that. So now this is more of the same volcano. Yes. yes. Yes, this is the same volcano. And, and tell Joel if he doesn't behave, you're going to make him bike. <laughs> bike around. <laughs> yeah. This is interesting because this is hardened lava. It just so these are pieces of grass that that that, that that or that what the lava just happened to go around. Oh. Um, so it, it's just little spots of here and there, uh, islands of grass in, um, in in the lava flow. See, I'm trying to remember. And this is the lava heading towards the edge of, of the, the south coast, right, um, and towards that road that I was talking about. Hmm. Well, see, I see some grass. That's what I'm trying to remember, whether... I guess after what a certain period of time, the grasses do grow out of the lava. They, they can, and, and dirt fills in some of the spots. But this was uh, the grass just hap happened to be the way the the lava flowed. So it killed the grass sort of in the middle of that picture. And on the left, you see the green where the lava just yeah. hadn't hadn't touched it yet. Yeah, I remember seeing so much of that black lava everywhere, and it. Uh, 
I re you know, it, it's really unique. I mean, yes, I don't yes. know how many places are like that. I think right. we had some guests on the show who had been in Iceland, mm -hmm. and they said Iceland too had had volcanic history, and there were sections that. Um, had the volcano lava and everything. Mm. The, the one place that I would love to go visit, and I don't know if you've ever had anybody on your show, and if so, I'd love to see the pictures. When I was a kid, I remember seeing a documentary on Pompeii. Oh. And they, they showed uh, what life was like in Pompeii before the volcano and, and um, what it would probably what the theory is what happened when the volcano and caught everybody unawares and how people were were frozen and it really I, I think just showing the what it must have been like they depicted it I, I was probably I no more never, than eight never been there but I have seen similar photos to what you're talking about where they have people that were in the middle of dinner right and right. they've almost been preserved exactly exactly a blacksmith yes. are doing different things yep. and they've been preserved and they're they're un uncovering some of we've that we've had guests cover parts of italy mm -hmm. but um we haven't uh, maybe our executive uh, assistant producer shirley will find for us a uh, Somebody person who's been to Pompeii that would be wonderful right, right, to see that right that's one place um, that i would yeah. still italy like is to wonderful to. anyway if you uh your next trip, you should um, work okay. with the uh, North End contingency and say, you know, we really need to do a reach out <laughs> to our, we must have a, a sister or brother city in Italy to well, something. Probably, <laughs> probably somewhere, yes. Uh, but, I've uh, been to Venice, but I haven't oh, been Venice to other parts. Wonderful. Yeah, that was beautiful. Wonderful. Interesting with um, Hawaii, though, is how different um, each island is. Yes, yes. You know, I don't know if you if you go to like. Um, I've been to Kauai. Oh, you have. Uh, that was so the first. So you know place what I'm talking about. How, right. How much more um, floral and yes. vegetative it is. Right. And Kauai, if, have you been there? Yes. It's it's um, l l the least touristy yep. island it's the furthest west that's I haven't inhabited been to the one that was the leper island um, oh that's just i think a little bit yeah, it's small yeah i haven't been to that one either but Kauai was the first one we yep. had been to um and it also was was beautiful and it oh it, uh Hawaii's you know, a neat a neat place yes and you you know you could just be walking along a, a trail near the ocean and look out and see all these big turtles swimming or, or mm -hmm. other sea life it was great it yep. was beautiful but Maui, I promise you'll enjoy. Now, you're flying again. You're going to leave out of Boston? Yes. Are you yes. going through L.A., San Francisco? Um, I think uh, Salt Lake City. Oh, really? Yes. Interesting. And then direct from Salt Lake City to... Uh, to, ha to uh, I think, Honolulu. And, and then, then to Maui. And then to Maui, yeah. yeah. Through Salt Lake, huh? Yeah. That'll be yeah. interesting. Salt Lake, uh, I've only been to the airport. But Bill, our executive producer, has a son who lives out there. Oh, So okay. he did a show with us on uh, Utah, yeah. and it was wonderful. They went to... Uh, All the canyons. I, the canyons, I yes. think, Zion Park. And, yes, Bryce. Uh, and, Bryce, and, yep, yeah. he went to those. Yes, and, uh, that, so that was actually one of the trips I was thinking of bringing. Um, I'll ask him to give you a video of his show it's, with it's, his lovely wife. And uh, I was going to say, because one of the things I would recommend, depending on your time, is for our guests, um, if you're going to Hawaii, you may want to tie in something else, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Salt Lake City, as you're mentioning, break up the trip a little bit because it's, you know, five, six hours to the West Coast and then you got another five or six hours to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So it can be a long day. So um, sometimes it's nice to break it up a right, little bit. Right, right. You know, and as you said, with Greece, you went uh, through London. I very often would recommend to people. If you're going somewhere like that, you may want to, if you haven't been to London. We, that's exactly what we did. We spent the day uh, touring and walking all around London. Yeah, we which had, is a great way, there. you know, to split up the trips a right. little bit. You're going that far, and then you may want to come back to London, you right. know, at another time. Right. Right. Now, this is still the Big Island? Yes, and you can see the grass yep. and then the dramatic end of the road in the middle of the, the picture. Yep. And that's where the lava started oh, there it the is. lava yes. flow where it just stops the road and you can see the lava going uh, basically well, into the water. I live here in um, 
I'll call it west to Boston, Metro West. And if I want to complain about mass turnpike tolls, are you going to tell me, Jack, you don't know what it is to lose your road to the lava? And I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> At least when you travel on the turnpike, you got a clear road. You don't have usually, lava streaming usually, over right, it. Right, right, But you, we still should not be paying tolls. <laughs> I still am fighting those tolls, making sure that, that my philosophy is if we have tolls, then the other roads should have tolls. And well, if they I'm don't have you, it, but of course then we should I take live, it down. I live on paying the tolls. I, I assume if I lived in Marblehead or if I lived in Hingham, I'd say, well, the hell with it. Of course, <laughs> and the South Shore, but it's not fair so I've been fighting at least so that we don't have the toll increase uh, that it this should be a statewide solution well maybe you can uh, I didn't come to I didn't invite you today to politic but maybe when they get the new casinos going you can get some money to the Turnpike Authority to uh, protect the residents of uh, Metro West right well <laughs> some of the money from the casinos when they come uh, will go to transportation oh, really funding. have yes. they already decided yes that? yes oh Yes, okay. it's broken down, some for mitigation for the communities that are impacted, oh, really? some for education, that. some for, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of different areas, and some is for transportation funding oh, right. and some economic development. This so, is back to the Big Island. Yes, yes, and, and this is still up in the helicopter uh, looking out, and you can see some of the cliffs of the island and some trees. See, we can talk government. Oh, this looks right. like a and, waterfall. And it is. It's, it was pr really pretty. This is still up in the helicopter and, and going away from the volcano site. And you can see the lushness here, yes, the greenery. The, it, is, it is beautiful. Beautiful. That looks like one of those things where, you know, the gal is selling shampoo and they're <laughs> under, the, <laughs> under the waterfall. Yes, yes. <laughs> Polynesian uh, young lady and uh, the shampoo was flowing and everything <laughs> but that's back to um, the casino so money is supposed to be scheduled to help out with the uh, highways education yes yes different areas uh, there are different uh, there's there's two different funds there, when the casinos come and the developers have to give their fees to get their license there's one pot and the money will be divided up and it's spelled out in in the bill in the law as to where that money goes to and then once the casinos are up and running it also spells out on an ongoing basis. Some of it will go to local aid uh, to ensure that we don't lose money going to our cities and towns in case the lottery drops a little bit because oh, of the. they were anticipating it could it, hurt it the could, lottery. It so. could. Okay. We have the most successful lottery in the country. So uh, there, there's that. And then there's, there's areas that will go, some funds percentage go to, as I said, education, transportation, economic development, and mitigation for the communities that so are impacted. So in other words, when we hear stories like that Springfield is fighting to get a casino, it has a lot to do with the fact that they'll see funds, quote unquote, from the uh, proceeds of the casinos to help that city. It, it, that's that's the plan. Oh, excuse bless me. You. Excuse bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Um, that's the plan. And and they hope for the jobs. There will right. be several thousand jobs. Um, and so each community will have to decide for themselves whether or not they want it to come. Um, I voted no actually on the bill because my concern was, uh, even though I d I wrote a lot of the pieces of it, my concern was, um, for an example, there is a potential site in Milford. I don't believe believe that a, 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 an appropriate site is, is in, in a residential area. Oh, I can understand that. I think that. Suffolk Down or, or there's a potential uh, industrial site in Everett. Well, it's already. To me, uh, exactly. That is more a, an appropriate area. So if Milford is a, a potential site, uh, it actually w would be on the northeast part of Milford that borders Holliston, Medway, and almost Hopkinton, which are my towns as well. So m under the law, it was Milford would have the vote. I tried to get the bordering towns have the right to vote. They would have to approve it. It did not pass. So, because my, my feeling is it will impact those towns, Medway, Holliston, Hopkinton, more than even Milford because of 495 and Route yep. 16. It sort of sets that area apart so that they should have had the right to, to decide if they wanted it as well. So, my feeling was if they don't have the right to, to have a vote, then I am not in favor of the bill overall. So, 
On that note, I want to thank you very much for thank being you. with us My today. Pleasure. It was it's a been, pleasure. It's been and fun. I'm going to make you promise to come back with your new pictures of the volcano. I will, definitely. Thank you. Thank you.